BlackBerry profits continue its downtrend despite the recent release of new smartphone models. This report tells us the tech firm needs a new game plan to survive. BlackBerry's latest results were a bust. It reported a loss and said it won't make a profit in the current quarter either. The devices rolled out just a few months ago, deemed make or break, so far not making it. Investors headed for the exits and speculation is rising about who might be knocking at the door and what BlackBerry has to offer. IDC's John Jackson. I do think that if you look at the asset base that they have at their disposal, it's formidable, it's good, it's potent, uh, and you know there are a set of assets there that, that I think any number of aspiring or existing competitors might have an interest in. So it's not surprising that, uh, it wouldn't be surprising to see uh, more tire kicking going on around RIM's assets. Jackson says it's now about being platform-centric. For example, Apple has talked about being a hardware, software, and services company, and that's what BlackBerry wants to be and what it could offer. As a mobile computing platform, uh, they have a model that should eventually transcend near exclusive dependency on hardware. So if you think about other companies that are positioned to complete, compete on a platform basis, right now we have Apple and Google in the marketplace. What about Amazon? What about Facebook? What about Microsoft? So there are any number of companies that might have an interest uh, in RIM's assets if indeed it's in play uh, to assist them in their transformation toward more of a, a basis of competition predicated on sort of platform-centric assets. So far, that transformation remains rocky. BlackBerry did not provide a detailed outlook for the rest of the year, saying only that the smartphone market remained highly competitive, making it difficult to estimate units, revenue, and levels of profitability.